Hey fam, welcome to my channel. My name's Mark and this is a Layer 1X video and it's a continuation of the white paper. We're up to chapter 13. So chapter 13, validator nodes. In the L1X blockchain network, validator nodes play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity and security of the network. These nodes become validators by staking a certain amount of L1X coins which grants them the responsibility to validate transactions and contribute to the consensus process. Additionally, validator nodes have the chance to be selected as a block proposer through a pseudo-random algorithm. This content elaborates on the functions and selection process of validator nodes within the framework. Number 1. Staking L1X Coins To become a validator node, participants are required to stake a specific amount of L1X coins. The staking process involves locking a predetermined number of coins in a designated wallet or smart contract. By staking L1X coins, nodes demonstrate the commitment to the network and gain the privilege to participate in the consensus mechanism. Number two, transaction validation. Validator nodes have the responsibility to validate transactions within the L1X blockchain network. When a transaction is submitted, validator nodes verify its correctness, ensuring that it adheres to the predefined protocol rules and meets the required criteria. This validation process involves confirming the transaction's digital signature, checking for sufficient funds, validating the transaction's integrity and ensuring that the block is proposed by the node selected as the slot head. Number three, consensus participation. Validator nodes actively participate in the consensus process to agree on the order and validity of transactions. They contribute to reaching a consensus by proposing and validating blocks that contain verified transactions. Validator nodes collectively validate and agree upon the state of the L1X blockchain, ensuring consistency and preventing malicious activities. Number four, block proposer selection. The L1X blockchain network employs a pseudo random algorithm to select a validator node as a block proposer. This algorithm takes into account various factors such as the amount of L1X coins staked, etc. The selection process is designed to be fair and unbiased, ensuring that each validator node has a chance to propose a block. Number five, block proposal. The selected validator node, acting as the block proposer, creates a new block by bundling verified transactions for the slots it is selected. The proposed block includes a cryptographic hash of the previous block, establishing the chain of blocks within the blockchain. The block proposer broadcasts the proposed block to the nodes in the respective cluster in the L1X network for further validation and consensus. Number six, consensus confirmation. Validator nodes collectively evaluate the proposed block to reach a consensus on its validity. They verify the included transactions, perform additional checks to prevent double spending or other malicious activities, and validate blocks' integrity. If the majority of validator nodes of a cluster agree on the proposed block's validity, the block is broadcasted to the other selected clusters in the cube. The block becomes part of the L1X blockchain when consensus is achieved from 51% of clusters, advancing the network state. By staking L1X coins, validating transactions and participating in the consensus process, validator nodes contribute to the overall security, integrity and decentralization of the blockchain network. The selection of a block proposal through a pseudo-random algorithm ensures a fair distribution of responsibilities, allowing every validator node to have an opportunity to contribute to block creation. 13.1 Validator Lifespan In the L1X blockchain network, validators play a crucial role in maintaining the integrity and security of the system. The validator lifecycle encompasses the various stages that validators go through, from their initial selection to their ongoing participation in block validation. This process ensures that only trustworthy, 
and competent participants are chosen to validate transactions and create new blocks. The validator lifecycle involves steps such as staking, selection, validation, and potential penalties or rewards. By understanding the intricacies of the validator lifecycle, stakeholders can gain insight into the inner workings of a POX blockchain network and appreciate the robustness of its consensus mechanism. And you've got a floor diagram, which is the validator lifespan. 13.1.1 Staking and Selection during the in stage, a validator stakes L1X coins to become an active participant in the network. After one cube, the validator enters the selection queue, awaiting its turn to be eligible for selection as a validator. The time required for selection depends on the network dynamics and the number of nodes ahead in the selection queue, with a minimum waiting period of four cubes. 13.1.2 Active Validator and Block Proposal As an active validator, the node can validate transactions, contributing to the consensus process and network security. Additionally, a validator may have the opportunity to propose blocks if chosen through a pseudo-random algorithm, further participating in the block creation process. A validator can be active for a maximum of 1,000 cubes. At this stage, there are two more possibilities for a validator. A validator may have insufficient balance or may get slashed due to malicious activity. 13.1.3 Exit A self-exit occurs when a validator voluntarily chooses to withdraw staked amount prior to the completion of the active period, i.e. 1000 cubes, signaling their decision to no longer participate in transaction validation. In contrast, an enforced exit can occur for these reasons. Completion of the validator's lifespan, insufficient balance, or being slashed for malicious activity. Moreover, to maintain network dynamics, a validator may be enforced random exit anytime between 500 and 1000 cubes. 13.1.4 Exit Waiting Period Upon initiating the exit process, a validator must wait for 5 cubes before proceeding. For an unslashed exit where a validator exits without any penalties, the waiting period is typically between 50 and 100 cubes. However, in the case of a slashed exit where the validator is penalised for malicious behaviour, the waiting period extends to 4,000 cubes. 13.1.5 Withdrawal The out stage marks the final phase of a validator's lifespan. At this stage, the validator can withdraw their staked amount from the network, including their participation in the L1X blockchain as a validator. Through the above discussed process, the lifespan of a validator in the L1X blockchain network is defined offering flexibility for voluntary exits and ensuring network integrity through enforced exits when necessary. 13.2 Validator Lifespan Algorithm This algorithm provides a high-level overview of the validated lifespan in the L1X blockchain network. Validators enter the in-stage by staking L1X coins. After one cube, the validator joins the selection queue after being eligible. Wait for a minimum of four cubes based on network dynamics and nodes ahead in the selection queue. Validator becomes eligible for the selection as an active validator. And if selected, validator enters the active validator and block proposal stage. Validate transactions and contribute to consensus. Possibility to propose blocks through a pseudo random algorithm. Repeat steps five to nine until the conditions are met. For self-exit, wait 5 cubes. Initiate an unslashed exit. For enforced exit, identify the exit condition, which is lifespan, completion, random exit, insufficient balance of being slashed. Wait 5 cubes. Initiate a slashed exit if penalised, else initiate an unslashed exit. For unslashed exit, wait 50 to 100 cubes for, for withdrawal, 
proceed to the out stage for the with withdrawal. For a slashed exit, wait 4,000 cubes for a withdrawal. Proceed to the out stage for a withdrawal. Validator completes the lifespan and proceeds to the out stage. Withdraw the staked amount from the network. 13.3 Validator Selection at the beginning of each cube in the L1X blockchain network, the validator selection process takes place to determine the validators in the selection queue for the next cube. The selection process ensures that the network has an adequate number of validators to maintain security, consensus and transaction val validation in adverse scenarios. The following steps outline validator selection process. 13.3.1 Minimum validator in a cluster. Based on network dynamics, a threshold is set for minimum validators required in the cluster. This value, known as the validator threshold, is a proportion of total nodes. It ensures that there are sufficient number of validators within a cluster to achieve consensus and prevent centralization. 13.3.2 Validators required. The next step involves calculating the total number of validators needed for the next queue based on active clusters and validator threshold. By considering 1.5 times the number of clusters, the L1X network ensures there are enough validators to maintain a decentralized and secure network in the adverse scenarios as well. 13.3.3 Validators Selected to fulfill the required number of validators, the difference between the validators required and the existing active validators is determined. Validators selected equals the difference, which is the validators required and active validators. The value represents the additional validators that need to be added to the selection queue for the next cube. The validator selection process aims to strike a balance between network security, decentralization, and efficient consensus. By ensuring that each cluster has a minimum number of validators and calculating the required number of validators based on the number of clusters, the L1X blockchain network maintains a robust validator ecosystem. 13.4 Validator Selection Algorithm the algorithm provided is a simplified representation of the validator selection process and can be adapted based on specific network requirements, selection criteria, and validation rules. Number one, set the validator threshold. Number two, calculate the number of clusters in the network. Number three, calculate the required number of validators for the next cube. Number four, Get the count of active validators in the network. Number five, calculate the number of validators needed to meet the requirements. Number six, add validators selected number of validators from available nodes in the selection queue. And number seven, repeat the process at the start of each new cube. 13.5, Vigilant Nodes. In a blockchain network, vigilant nodes play a crucial role in observing transactions, detecting any malicious activity performed by nodes, and promptly notifying the block proposer about such behavior. These nodes are incentivized with negligible rewards to discourage the promotion of malicious activities. This content provides an overview of the function and purpose of vigilant nodes within the blockchain network. Number one. Monitoring transactions. Vigilant nodes actively monitor the transactions occurring within the blockchain network. They continuously analyze the transaction flow, observing the behavior and actions of participating nodes. Through the vigilant stance, these nodes strive to maintain the integrity, security, and fairness of the network. Detection of malicious activity. With their keen observation, vigilant nodes possess the ability to identify and detect any instances of malicious activity perpetrated by nodes within the network. This includes actions such as double spending, unauthorized modifications to the blockchain, or any other behavior that violates the established L1X protocol rules. Number three, notification to block proposer. 
Upon detecting malicious activity, vigilant nodes promptly notify the block proposer. By providing timely notifications, vigilant nodes ensure that the block proposer is made aware of the identified malicious behavior, enabling them to take appropriate actions. Negligible rewards. To discourage the promotion of malicious activities, vigilant nodes receive negligible rewards for their watchful role within the L1X network. The aim is to avoid creating incentives for nodes to engage in or tolerate malicious behavior. Instead, the focus is on maintaining a trustworthy and secure blockchain environment. The presence of vigilant nodes reinforces the network's integrity and security by actively monitoring transactions, detecting malicious activity, and notifying the block proposer. By incentivizing vigilant behavior with negligible rewards, the L1X blockchain network strives to create a robust and transparent ecosystem, discouraging nodes from engaging in activities detrimental to the network's health and well-being. 13.6. Radix nodes. The Radix node is responsible for facilitating the entry of new nodes into the network. It goes beyond traditional boot nodes by incorporating additional functionalities, including cluster assignment, cluster maintenance, node shuffling and threshold management. This comprehensive description outlines the significant aspect of the Radix node's role within the L1X framework. Number one, root node functionality. The Radix node serves as the initial point of contact for nodes seeking to join the L1X blockchain network. Its primary responsibilities include providing crucial information and assistance to new nodes and guiding them through the integration process. The Radix node's functionalities encompass Number 2. Network State Information The Radix node supplies new nodes with up-to-date details about the network's current state, including the latest blockchain state, network topology, and active nodes participating in the L1X blockchain. Number 3. Connection Establishment the Radix node plays a pivotal role in facilitating connections between new nodes and the existing L1X network. It offers a curated list of active nodes and their IP addresses, allowing new nodes to establish direct connections and participate in the L1X blockchain network. 13.7 Cluster Assignment In addition to the above functionality, the Radix node assigns new nodes to specific clusters within the network. Clusters are logical subdivisions that group nodes based on shared characteristics of our roles. The cluster assignment process involves the following steps. Number one, network topology analysis. Leveraging its understanding of the network's topology and node capabilities, the Radix node evaluates new nodes to determine the most suitable cluster for each. This evaluation ensures optimal communication and collaboration among nodes with complementary features. Number two, cluster assignment. The Radix node assigns new nodes to appropriate clusters based on the evaluation results. This strategic allocation enhances the overall performance, scalability, and efficiency of the L1X blockchain network. 13.7.1 cluster maintenance and node shuffling. The Radix node assumes the responsibility of maintaining clusters within the L1S network, ensuring their ongoing stability and effectiveness. This involves period node shuffling, whereas nodes are re reorganized within clusters in regular intervals called cubes. The cluster maintenance and node shuffling process encompass the following steps. Cluster monitoring, the Radix node continuously monitors the cluster's composition and performance, keeping track of participating nodes and their respective roles within the cluster. Epoch initialization. At the beginning of each cube, the Radix node initiates the node shuffling process by creating a randomized order of nodes within each cluster. Number three, node shuffling. The Radix node reassigns nodes within the cluster based on the randomized order, promoting fairness and preventing centralization. This shuffling enhances network resilience and discourages potential attacks. Number four, cluster update. 
The Radix node updates the cluster configuration and disseminates the revised information to all participating nodes, ensuring they are aware of newly shuffled cluster arrangements. 13.7.2 Threshold Management The threshold management aspect of the Radix node evolves around maintaining the network's threshold by tracking node records and ensuring clusters have a minimum number of nodes to meet the threshold requirement. The process encompasses the following actions. Node record maintenance. The Radix node maintains records of nodes that have exited or been slashed from the network due to various reasons such as misconduct, insufficient resources or voluntary withdrawal. These records help in tracking node history and determining their eligibility for future participation. Minimum cluster size threshold. The L1X framework defines a minimum number of nodes required to be present in each cluster to meet the threshold. The Radix node ensures that each cluster maintains the minimum cluster size to preserve the L1X network integrity and security. Cluster redistribution. If a cluster falls below the minimum cluster size threshold, the Radix node initiates the redistribution process. It identifies surplus nodes from other clusters or new nodes attempting to join the network and assign them to the affected cluster, thereby maintaining the minimum number of nodes required. Node Eligibility Assessment When assigning nodes to clusters, the Radix node evaluates the eligibility of new nodes based on the predefined threshold criteria. This assessment ensures that only qualified nodes meeting the required computational power, reputation, stake or other factors are included in the cluster. Number five, cluster update and communication. Once the redistribution is completed, the Radix node updates the cluster configuration and communicates the revised information to all nodes in the network. This enables nodes to stay informed and update the cluster composition and maintain a synchronized view of the L1X network. Thus, the Radix node reinforces the network stability, security, and adherence to predefined criteria. If guaranteed that the L1X blockchain network operates with reliable and qualified nodes, enhancing the overall trustworthiness and effectiveness of the system. 13.8 Lexicon Slot, the smallest unit in the L1X blockchain, where one block is created every 0.5 seconds. Chunk, a 20 second time interval consisting of 40 slots in the L1X blockchain, organizing blocks for efficient management and synchronization. Epoch, a period in the L1X blockchain comprising consecutive three chunks, typically lasting for one minute, during which clusters propose blocks and facilitate network consensus. Cube, a unit of time in the L1X blockchain that encompasses multiple epochs, typically lasting for three minutes, incorporating cluster shuffling and providing milestones for network analysis and planning. Radix, a node that serves as an entry point for new nodes, providing network information, cluster assignment, and maintaining threshold for participation. Validator, a node that validates transactions, secures the network, and can be selected as block proposers through a pseudo-random algorithm based on the stake and the other factors. Block proposer, a node responsible for creating new blocks and proposing them to the network for validation. Vigilant node, a node in a blockchain network that monitors transactions, detects and reports malicious activity to the block proposer. <laughs>